I, uh, then, what should I use, oh, fuck me, as my sacrificial lamb? There's thing in here I can break, right? So, <laughs> look at all this junk. There's a fucking printer there. There's, like, network cards and video adapters. There's a sound card in there somewhere. Another printer there. These are all dead, or, like, these hard drives up here. They're all IDE stuff. Ooh, IDE. There's a fan that I've cut these off at some point. Someone's cut them off. What are you? What are you? Oh, you're a sound card. Very old sound card. Look at that. Ah, but today. I wonder if this works. That is a solid no. Uh, we are going to be making, or scavenging, rather. Is there any big hard drive? Some neodymium magnets. Because I want to make a holder. Oops. I want to make a holder for a, um... What do you call it? A knife under the desk. Oops. What even was that? Oh, it's an Ethernet card. Hey, eh? It's not fucking Ethernet. The fuck? Anyone recognize this shit? That does not look like Ethernet to me. Anyway, to the other room. Hey, things what you're going to need to get this, the whole thing to work. A flat blade. Preferably not a uh, blunt razor. A where is it? There. This is going to be hard to do. Uh, it's, I think it's called a torque drive. Oh. But it's basically one of those star-shaped uh, screws. A Phillips one. This is very hard to do. Can I turn you around, actually? Oh, it's too far. Right. So that that little adventure is now over. <laughs> that was a bit of fun. Phone. I had phone hang up on a thing that I'm sort of just sitting on. It kind of didn't go particularly well. Um, but I managed to find a bigger hard drive. This is a old WD400. It's a 40 gig. I believe it's 7200. It may stay on here somewhere. Yeah, just 4016 megabytes. 400,000 even. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to guess 5200 or 5400, but I'm not too sure. But again, IDE with a uh, jumper on it, where's the focal point? It's like saying there ish. As I said before, one of these, which I think is actually too small for this particular hard drive, it is not. We are in business. So, look at the bulk. These things are bulky. How big is this? This is a. <laughs> Two gig hard drive. <laughs> Legit two gig. Focus. Legitimately two gigabyte hard drive. Wow, when does this come from? When is this made? It doesn't say. It's Toshiba sometime or another. I have no idea when this was made, but this is two gigabyte hard drive. And it's not light. This would have been the bee's fucking knees back in the day when it was built. So, I may actually leave that to the side. Just for now. But, we're going to take apart this big one for starters. Uh, so, the easiest way to get into one of these... If I zoom in a touch... Come on, zoom in. Zoom in enhance, too much. Uh, is, there's uh, one of these. That's just in these around the front here. You also need these ones at the back because they hold not only the PCB on but there's one underneath it as well. Yeah, these on but there's one underneath as well. And you can basically use as strong a uh, magnetic screwdriver as you like because let's be honest it's not going to make that much of a difference at this point and they just screws. And I know technically I'm cutting towards myself here, but let's think about it. If I slip from there, I've got to come all the way back to, like, a good foot or so before I actually hit any part of myself. So if I can't stop myself at this speed at a foot's range, I'm really needing 
better reflexes before I think about anything else. Okay, I forgot there would be one more um, screw underneath that. Yes, go screw hunting. It's right there. There? Yes. There. We have at least one. So he's out. There's another one there. Somewhere in here. Whoops. There ish. There we go. Ah. Oh. Uh, this screwdriver's the wrong size. I'll be right back. Got it. This is the right one. That's come. This was useless. That screwdriver there. It was not where I put it. It fell immediately to the ground. There we go. Should be us released. Nope, there's one more. They really didn't want you getting into this. Let's assume it's another large one. Actually, is there another one here? <laughs> no, it's just an empty divot. Right, pry! Yay! Wow, is that? It's like a breather or something? Oh, that'll be the breathing hole, won't it? Yeah. The breathing hole, if you didn't know, there, that thing there, is actually to keep the pressure the same. Wow, a black one. Is it black? No, it's not. Look how reflective that is. Yes. <laughs> You're literally suspended on a box. They're actually kind of dirty. I did not expect that. That's a single platter. A 40 gigabyte platter there. These are almost mirror finished. These are really strong as well. They're quite hard to break these things. And you may or may not be able to see here. Um, this head. This head moves back and forth, and this, even if this wasn't already completely broken, this will break it. Just applying this bit of pressure. This head moves back and forth, ooh, like this, extremely fast. You can hear it getting caught up on stuff. Just because me pushing down like that, move it around. But, um, that moves back at some stupid RPM. And the one of mine that broke, I can actually show this, uh, was doing this. You can hear it smacking into the, the center spindle here. Which, to me, indicates that the motor here was broken for... Or broke for whatever reason. I don't know what. Okay, we're going to need to take this side off now. You go over there. PCB, stay here. And this has got all the chips on the underside. Also, this is all the power transfer comes from these four pins and this little motor here. You may or may not be able to see that, but they're all contact there for those pins. And where's the power coming from that? Ah, there they plug into the things there. Uh, so, yeah, keep that aside because you want it to put it all back together. Now, minor hiccup. Or might have changed to normal is generally speaking these hard drives have a um oh that's a thing over here that keeps the whole spindle intact but I think wow that is so bright like if I put that like this yeah, where's the light there you can see just how reflective this is it's not it's almost like a black reflective surface uh, but because it's got these around here, is this where it's at? Yes. Uh, then it doesn't need one on the bottom side. So we're first of all going to take off this oh, spindling arm. Actually, fuck, this is really quite light. You take off this thing first. Whoa. And this is, of course, super, super spinny. This platter, by the way, will pick up any and uh, these are on the really, really fucking tight. Any and all fingerprints. Now we move this off. Nothing to hold you on there. Prop you up from the side. Ah, uh, come on. Prop you up from the side like that. Bring you down. Bring you up. This actually, I don't know, I've got to say how the hairline crack on it. This is what all of your data's held on. Look at all the cracks on that. Not cracks, I'm um, finger marks. 
they're probably on there as well. That's nice. Here, I'll do it this side. Look how reflective this shit is. This is actually super hard. Like, super duper hard. That didn't even scratch it at all. Look how thick. That's, that is a 40 gig hard drive. Now, nowadays, they'll have dents in one of these. So, like, your one terabyte will have three or four of these, but they'll each be, like, 250 gigs. So, in my assumption at uh, four, uh, 540 RPM, or 5400 RPM, seems not too far off. Simply due to the, um, the fact that it only has one platter. Does it say on here? Now, the neodymium magnets we need, if I get this... That's not magnetic. It is under here. <laughs> ah. These are a real pain to get into sometimes. I need the bigger one. Because they're done to the point where you don't... Where they don't want people taking them apart for some odd reason. They make them really hard to get into. Look at that. That was held in by a screw and a magnet. There, like there, focus you, and then do this. Look at that. This is a neodymium magnet. They're super, super powerful. They're also quite rare, for some odd reason. And one of these smaller hard drives. Where are they? Where did I put them? The chip. Where did I put those? I've gone fucking mad. Okay, one of these smaller hard drives, we usually have one of them in the bottom, and the ones I've taken apart before have. Um, oh, there are the hard drives. Yeah, these will usually have one single one. Out here, you can see it. Down here, you can see the thing that's stuck to it. They'll, that'll be where that is. Oh, I, I don't know that much. I'm assuming this one's the same. If I... Yeah. Yeah, that one's there as well. They'll only have one. They won't have one on the top. But because this is a bigger hard drive, and this is a lot weightier, it needs to have the bigger thing. So there's going to be a screw under this. Oh, look at that. Look how powerful this is. This is just being held on by this single magnet. Almost carry its entire weight. That is a whoa, strong magnet. Come over here. There we go. Uh, it. Right, let's put this all back together then. Uh, and that's that was the drive for the header, that one I was confused about. There's actually two little heads, or two little things that are kept like apart just by force. But they ride like atoms, I think, above. Yeah. These ride so close to the disc, it's like impossible to measure on a conventional measuring tool you need like microscope sort of deal and uh, they just go back and forth each really fast the, uh, mag applying the magnetic force required to deposit your ones and zeros so all of them on next we'll put the platter in see if I can't give it a quick polish up I've got a um, cloth here but it's a bit old No, my fingers just seem to be super oily today. So. Oh, oh, fuck's sake. Come here. There we go. Nice and simple like that is. Scratching it like nobody's business. <laughs> and which way up does it go? That way down. Ta-da. Now comes the fun part. Trying to, whoa, I forgot these do not like magnets. Trying to realign all the holes. There we go. Simply done. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this semi-educational way of getting um, some neodymium magnets. These are actually, if you have a whole shed ton of old hard drives like I do hanging around, that you either can't use because they're broken or won't use because they're all IDE ones. 
this is a good way of getting neodymium magnets. A lot cheaper. I say a lot cheaper, but a lot cheaper than buying them. Because for the what the size of this, you're looking at about maybe five dollars, six dollars for this, which is let's be honest, not worth all the thing if you've already got them in your house. Just have to do a bit of work to get them. Heck, if I got another two, I can make a whole circle. <laughs> I hope you have a nice morning, a nice evening, a nice afternoon. I will see you all next time. Time to get smart glue.